This video will show you some secrets of PC technicians. But now that this video exists, it's no longer a secret. We know several methods, but we will gradually start with the easiest ones. If you've already tried them, skip and look for the next one you haven't tried. Option 1. The first and easiest method would be to remove your laptop's battery for 60 seconds. I am aware that it is not like your laptop, but I want to show you how to proceed, so that you have the best overall picture. For this reason, I show you two different models. Option 2. Are the processor and video card overheated? Vacuum the areas where heat is released. Option 3. This option is still based on excessive heat. Place the laptop on 3 to 4 bottle caps or 2 books, 3 greens or 3 phone chargers, something for the laptop to sit on. I think I've given you enough examples, if you still don't know what to put, skip this step or even have someone else do it if you can for various reasons. But be careful with books or something big, not to block the air vents. It is extremely important that those vents are in the air at least as thick as a smartphone. And yes, you can use two smartphones. Did you get the idea? You have to let the fans draw cooler air. If there is a possibility, you can use a special fan for laptops, if this option works and the laptop does not restart anymore, and the problem is solved due to excessive heat. The following method is one that will be done easily, even if it seems difficult. We have to restart the laptop in safe mode, but I think your laptop already starts in safe mode because of those blue screens of death that happen, right? But if still starting up, and after some time it restarts, we will do as follows, hold down the shift key, and select restart. The laptop will restart in safe mode, now, we will try to fix the problem quickly. Select, troubleshot. Select, advanced options. And here, startup repair. Windows will try to fix something. It has very little chance of fixing it, but it's worth a try. The following method is the secret method of IT technicians. And of course, our piece of resistance. The most likely solution to repair the laptop if the first ones didn't work. So it will require more attention from here on out, yes? Start again in safe mode, with networking. Download driver remover, and do not run it yet. It is important. Download device detector and install it. You can find all the links in the description of this video. Download device detector, and run it. Look at the video adapter. Here you can see the name of your video card. If is NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA and select your card and download driver to your laptop. If is AMD or Intel, 
select your models and download latest driver. It is important to have your video driver downloaded before a next step. After the driver is downloaded, you can go ahead to next step. In fact, if you have an AMD video card, then it is not necessary to select it from the list of drivers. Just download AMD software and it will download the detected driver for you. However, we also present the manual version because many times this software fails. For Intel video cards, write Intel graphics. We go to their website and select graphics. Here we will use search. We will enter the name we memorize from the device detector. To continue, be sure you have everything you need to avoid unpleasant situations. 1. You need to know the name of the video card. Two, download the video card driver to your laptop, preferably the latest updated driver. At this moment you must have downloaded the following, 1. Video card driver. 2. Driver remover. If you haven't downloaded them, go back to the previous steps and make sure you have downloaded them. Now, install and run DDU, driver remover. Select GPU. Now you have to select your model, as we taught you. Now select clean and restart. We are waiting for it to restart. And now it will starting up, and the following situations can happen. The resolution can be very large. The screen can go black for few seconds, but will come back, or can flicker, flashing, freeze several times. So we recommend not touching anything, for at least 5 minutes. Now, install the video card driver. NVIDIA, dedicated video card.
AMD dedicated video card. Intel integrated video card. After installation, select restart after the installation process is completed. Congratulations if it worked. If the problem is still not solved with the new graphics driver, then try this before physically intervening. Restart in safe mode, and this time we will choose system restore, and there we will choose depending on the date. The first time. We will try to see if we have a complete recovery image of the system, that would be perfect to have. Oh, you do not have one. There should have been a list of restore points here, but there isn't. Next step. We choose, system restore. Oh, we don't have anything here either. Furthermore, it would be a last option to uninstall the latest Windows updates. Furthermore, it would be a last option to uninstall the latest Windows updates. If this does not solve the problem, we recommend to Format HDD or SSD Then, do a new and clean installation of Windows Or we can use reset, so we can keep files that we don't want to lose. But the first option with formatting and installing Windows is the best chance of fixing the problem. The next step requires your physical intervention, that is, to disassemble the laptop. Extreme situations. Or, the worst would be if the blue screen situation appears again, or if it freezes, or any other anomalies that won't let you install the video card driver. Or to start the restoration, that is, if you cannot do anything, that I have presented to you so far, because it freezes or restarts, then the approach must be changed from software, to physical intervention. If this happens, then you have to intervene physically. So, we recommend removing the RAM memory module, for a few seconds, and then putting it back, and if it works, it's fine. If not, you have to replace the RAM. If you replace the RAM, and it still happens, we know that this laptop, it's not like yours, but it's very good for example, because they all look roughly the same. Or you should try to test if the HDD or SSD is working correctly. What I want to say is, if the RAM is okay, then we could draw a final conclusion, that the HDD or SSD are defective and can create these blue screens or crashes. Careful! If there are two SSDs or one M2 SSD, and another SATA SSD, then you can remove one at a time, and start the laptop with only one of them, and in this way you can realize which one is broken, and if it is broken of course. We remove the existing HDD and replace it, with one that we know is functional, then we install Windows on it. And this can be a solution with many possible chances to solve the issue, and it still happens, then the motherboard needs to be repaired. Or replaced. I am very sorry but this is the situation. I have been working as an IT technician since 2002, and I repair laptops, 
the fastest and easiest, exactly in this way that I presented. I shared this knowledge with you especially for young people who want to get involved. I wish you success. Bye.